We have a pretty decent size haul. It's a whole bunch of random stuff from random stores. So we have our majority of the hauls from, from Sam's Club. Do we have a bit from Costco, a local store called Smith's, and then we have a little bit of a Walmart haul. So we just went to a whole bunch of random stores while we were in town. We were in town overnight. My kids had a doctor's, a dentist appointment. I had an OB appointment on the 20th. I had no B appointment and then my girls had a dental appointment. The next day my boys had their dental appointment. It was their every six month cleaning and exam day. And in that time when we go down for my OB visits, which is near the end of the month is when we do our grocery shopping. I kind of prefer to shop at the end of the month. I feel like it's less busy than the first of the month. So that's always nice. I feel like there's more stuff on the shelves. And I feel like that's when the new ads start. So, <laughs> KG could walk by. Nah. So we are gonna start with our Costco haul. And like I said, everything's random. I will leave the prices down below after each haul of what we spent. Again, it's random, so I don't, I think I have all the receipts. If I do, I'll add a clip of them in there as well. If you're new to the channel and you're just popping in, we are a family of 11, nine kids. Me and my husband were pregnant with baby number 13. Yes, that doesn't make sense because I said nine kids. I have three older children that don't live with us. So this is my 13th baby, but bringing in baby number 10 into this, there's flies everywhere, this lifestyle, which brings me to, we live off grid in the desert of Utah and it's summertime. So it's hot. The flies are out the mosquitoes are out. And yeah, this is a part one of the hall. We will have, a, <clears throat> we will have a part two kind of, I do weekly shopping at our local store called Stewart's for our produce and our meat. I do meat and produce weekly because we live full time in our RV on our five acres that we just moved on to to start building our homestead in November. So we've only been here not even a year yet. So that's why you see no meat and no produce ish. We have some produce from Sam's but nothing in bulk like frozen stuff frozen fruit fresh meat that we will get within the next few days we do that weekly because two reasons we need to buy a second set power which we just haven't done that yet and by the way there will be a video coming up talking about set power we absolutely love it they're going to be sponsoring one of my videos they sent us one to share with you guys give our review on it we love it so much we are going to purchase another one ourselves so that's coming as well as you guys will have to stay tuned for, I know you guys are thinking, oh my gosh, every vlogger and their mama is doing this right now. I think it's really fun to watch things get bought randomly, but Timu will be sponsoring another video. Uh, Timu will be sponsoring a video from my channel as well. So I have a box of goodies that I will be opening with you guys, which I think is just fun. I enjoyed watching Katie from Rouse Rising do her Timu um, vlog. She freaking nailed it. If you haven't seen Katie from Rouse Rising, check out her channel and check out her Timu um, video. Really good. She nailed that one. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my haul. You guys are probably like, shut up. It's four minutes now. Start, start the haul. So we'll start over here with Costco. So you're going to have to excuse the background noise. There will be a louder generator pumping on soon to water our garden. We use our big generator for our well on our property and that's how we get our water for filling up our tanks and watering the garden and water, water's life. So you'll hear that startup soon. We have a little generator going back there right now, charging our RV battery because we just don't have the solar for that. We have the solar, it's just not hooked up. I don't really know much about solar. We use the generator to charge the RV battery and then we run solar to run the battery. It doesn't really make sense to me. Anyways, that's the noise in the background. You're gonna have to excuse that one. 
All right, we are gonna start over here with Costco. We're gonna start with the bug repellent. I took Killian in because he had some swollen lump nodes in it. It kind of freaked me out to the pediatrician. Long story short, he has quite a bit of mosquito bites. We live near a lake, like super close to the lake, as in the lake is right there. So, you know, when you're camping, there's a ton of mosquitoes. There's a ton of mosquitoes in the city where there's no lake, but the more water, the more mosquitoes. They're bad here. So we've done the DEET, but you don't want to use DEET every single day. And I know some of you guys are like, just shut up and tell me your haul, but this is how I do my hauls. I explain why I get things and maybe I can educate on to some people that you don't want to use DEET every day because it goes straight into your kidneys. So my kids do have mosquito bites on them and I don't know what to do. I tried the mouthwash, the mouthwash method thanks to one of you ladies from Australia. Not working at all here. It's like they want to eat, eat us even more. So we did try the mouthwash method but my pediatrician said hey Go to Costco because you're right, you don't want to use off. You don't want to use DEET every single day because it's not good for you. The chemicals is not good for you. And to also get a bug zapper, which I don't see the bug zapper here. I'm going to have to find that one. That's weird. I don't know where that one is. We did get a bug zapper. I will add a clip into that here. So here's the solar insect killer lantern, which is really cool because, well, it's solar. Three in one with flickering flame bug zapper lantern. It's weatherproof. 600 volt zapper. LED flickering flame effect. LED lantern. Rubberized grip and handle. Six hour charge. No open flames. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know how these, these things get hung up or something. There they get hung up. So that's pretty cool. How much were these, Daddy? Forty-nine. Forty-nine dollars. But we also got this insect repellent that she said to get. It is Murphy's Naturals. It is lemon eucalyptus oil. And I'm sure you can make this, but you can also buy it at um, Costco too, for like 15 bucks, it's plant-based. It repels mosquitoes that may carry all those scary Zika virus, West Nile virus. And I'm gonna go there with the other words, viruses. So, gonna go camping, try this instead of the off, just more natural way. And then we, it's summertime here, it's hot. We love lemonade. So we got a whole bunch of lemonade, some of these were on um, coupon. I'm not sure if they all were, but most of them were, except for the cranberry juice was not, I don't think. I'm not good with the whole pricing and what some things are on sale, some things I'm not that, that I'm not that organized, especially shopping with this many dang kids. So strawberry lemonade, some organic blackberry lemonade, cranberry juice, which is organic as well. And then we got the organic lemonade back here too. And then I talked about us trying to get away from a lot of food colorings and additives and all that unhealthy stuff. It's a really hard process to learn to do things more natural from home. There's baby steps, a lot of, it's like a trend right now. Women are wanting to learn to cook more natural and it's a learning process for us because we're so used to just going to the stores and buying and buying and buying and buying and buying it's safe it's being sold so it's safe right no it's not safe but anyways i thought these were those rainforest um because it says rainforest right here and i was shopping with all nine of my eight of my nine nine of my kids and it can get a little bit freaking hectic especially with summer break not right now everybody's stuck with their kids in the store so it's like a kid fest in the stores anyways these are really good these are not healthy these are not rainforest these are not natural these are sweet they're not sour at all but they are gluten-free fat-free low sodium and these are big so if you have toddlers or kids that just like to gorge candy in their mouth I have two of those you have to sit with them and kind of watch them because these suckers will slide right down your throat in a huge choking hazard. They're big little froggies. So these do have all the bad stuff in it. All the 
the dyes you want to stay away from the corn so they're in here but these were on sale these are a very good treat these are super yummy moderation is the key so those are good sunblock i like to get the sunblock from costco that has the monkey on it i can't think of the name i normally have a bottle right next to me on the fire mantle here but it's not there they didn't have that one they had this one and another one i opted to go with the banana boat the sports and the other one was 50, 40 this one's 50 plus and my kids the up here in the desert the altitude's higher the sun hits hotter it's hard to not turn red up here so i did get some of this we go through a crap ton of sunblock this was on markdown this um, time at costco these are a huge good treat i get these every single time we go to costco it's the cherry and cheese pastries they are so good these are worth it these are worth the six for ten dollars super good and then we got the two for i think it's 9.99 i could be wrong i'm not good with the prices of the muffins for breakfast we did stay in a hotel overnight because of all the dental appointments and whatnot we got the same thing we just got two cases of the vanilla chocolate chunk these are super good they did get a little bit squished from um well the van ride home and then chocolate milk i like these chocolate milks i don't get these often i think it's like 17 bucks a case but they're the organic reduced fat you get 24 of them in the case and when you're traveling, it's good to have. You just take a couple of them, throw them in the ice box, let them get cold, give them to your kids, put them in the refrigerator. And they don't have to be completely refrigerated. They're shelf stable. So I like to get these for when we're traveling and doing things out. These came from Scum's Club. So not that goes over there. And then Costco, I was so excited. I watched another person do a vlog and they said, hey, head to your Costco if your girls need swimsuits because there's a good deal on the swimsuits they're normally $20 on sale for $9.99 markdown it's a four piece set I thought the smalls were size 6x and then the mediums were a 7 but I was wrong the smalls are actually a 7 8 and I didn't look I just saw the small sign on the thingy and I grabbed it and we headed on out because it's Costco nine kids summer break everybody got their kids again crazy busy these are huge on my girls so it didn't work out but i will save them because it was only ten dollars and you get i'll show you what you get with this set and they will fit them next year maybe by the end of the summer you never know my head of growing spurt but you get a t-shirt and these are all like those safe raid um protective swimwears with eddie bauer brand and then you get so you get the protective t-shirt and then the shorts the shorts look baggy but they have a built-in bikini bottom thingy in there and then they have it comes with the tank top a very modest top for bikini and then just the typical traditional bikini bottoms so like we got piper no we got lemon the purple and fray the pink but we're gonna save those because they're big these late in july crackers are really good they're the multi-grain organic sea salt ones they are usda organic non-gmo tortilla chips really good they are on markdown we got one bag of those we also got the cape cod kettle cooked potato chips those are hit around here sea salt again part of the non-gmo certified project costco is the bomb with selling non-gmo more organic more plant-based if you're into plant-based any of the trendy healthy um stuff you want to go to costco for that's all we got at costco but we did get the coconut water if you see coconut water that tastes gross what do we do with it because coconut water is extremely healthy for you this is an 18 pack I, this is on markdown at costco it's cheaper than at sam's club by five dollars right now these are packed with electrolytes nutrients and i don't like to just drink coconut water like i can choke it down but if you put these in the freezer for a few hours and then dump them into your smoothie grind up some fresh fruit in there frozen fruit in there and drink it it's really good and it's a, such an easy healthy way to throw some electrolytes inside your body as well as hydrating it we go through a lot of coconut water in the summer for that reason so coconut water if you want to know what if you don't know what to do with coconut water there's an easy healthy idea for you all right that is not all we also got um some of these capri suns 
There's two different kinds. I know it's Capri Sun. It's not the healthiest. There's 100% juice, which is like $4 more than the other ones. That's not as healthy, but it's Capri Sun. But we went with a healthier version. Capri Suns. Easy to just pop a straw and give your kid. We also got these totes from Costco. These are also marked down right now. I can't remember how much they are, but we did get three of them to store some clothes in there. A lot of you guys said, hey, mice will choose through these. I don't think the mice we have will. They're super freaking tiny little suckers, but uh, we, we could be wrong. They haven't with our other totes, but we did get three more for um, storage on clothes for the big girls, for the little girls for growing into because yeah, handy downs. Now we are on to Sam's Club. We'll start here with the Simply Cheeto Puffs. They have the Annie's at Costco. I prefer to do the Annie's. And we just had a, it was a really hard day in Costco with the kids. So this was the next day. We're like, let's go to Sam's before we head home. And they didn't have the Annie's, but they did have these Simply ones. I don't think they're part of any kind of non-GMO crap. It's really... Um, not healthy. It's Cheetos, but it's a healthier version, I suppose, than just the regular Cheetos. So the Cheetos Puffs, um, two of these things of canned chicken. I do a lot of canned chicken meals, two cans of green beans, two cases of green beans. These are on markdown at Sam's Club. These pastas are a part of the non-GMO project. And then we got some of these Omega Powerhouse Trail Mix. There is two bags of these. These are also non-GMO. They have almonds, pumpkin seeds, protein chocolate flavored chips, walnut, protein granola custard, strawberry, strawberry flavored cranberries, banana chips, banana flavored custards. You hear babies in the background, that's just Freya. That's just Piper and Lemon fighting over the water table. Everything's all good. Chris is out there with them. But we got these, we put back, we put back the trail mix and we opted to go for the Omega Powerhouse trail mix. So we got two bags of those. Again, we talked about dyes and things like that. I know there are ways you can make uh, um, electrolyte drink with salt and like lemon and things like that. But yeah, we're talking about getting it into kids and it's really hot up here in the desert. And this is something that my kids will drink. So this dye is going to stay for now. This is just the frosted Gatorade from um, Sam's Club. As well as the milk chocolate hot cocoa. This will be there. This is our coffee. I can make it with cacao powder, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go with Stefan's. If you haven't tried these kind breakfast protein bars, they are a must. They are not part of the Nojima project, I don't think. I'm pretty positive because it's the kind. But they are super soft. They're really good. They're 8 grams of protein. You get 12 of them. It's like 8 bucks for the box. So it's under a dollar a packet. And if you're running out the door with your kids, take your coffee, your protein drink, and one of these and it will give you the satisfaction of holding you over till you get something else in your body. So we got two boxes of those. Gage asked for some ankle socks, so he got ankle socks. These right here, three grams of sugar. These are organic, part of the non-GMO project. A good, healthy treat. These are dark chocolate coconut cups. So these are also keto-friendly gluten-free and yeah they look good so got some of those two boxes of the cherry fruit cups just a quick thing to throw on the side sandwich fruit cup there you go there's some chips there's a lunch bag of oranges a bag of plums a bag of nectarines some members mark the better nut bar we have not tried these Chris saw these and he's just like, I want a nutty bar. So he got himself a nutty bar. These have almonds, cashews, walnuts, and pumpkin seeds, those look like. Anyways, some of those. 
some of the members mark honey almond granola this is a part of the non-gmo project and it's just baked granola with a blend of oats crisp rice honey and almonds whole grain we have not tried this brand we're going to give it a go with some yogurt or on top of a smoothie just a healthy snack my kids love dried mangoes i still have yet to find the chili mangoes i've checked at costco in my area i checked at sam's club I really want some freaking chili mangoes that are dried and they don't have them here. So, got some regular ones. Red onions. I'm going to think I'm going to try and um, jar up some of these onions for making them shelf stable. We'll see how fast we go through this bag of sweet red onions. Let's see. We got. Did we get the pasta over here? Did I say? Did I get the pasta? We did get a box of pasta. I don't know if we got the pasta. I'm always, the pasta. I'm always missing stuff, but this is a part of the non-GMO project, and it is marked down. Two things of cranberries. Blueberries, not cranberries. Bag of limes. Two cases of refried beans. Some of this creamy peanut butter spread. It's the natural no stir. We got two of those, so there's four of those suckers. These are cheaper at Sam's Club than at Costco. They're the organic crispy coconut rolls. These are really good. These are a healthy snack. They are organic. I'm pretty sure, yeah, gluten-free, dairy-free, and they're roasted with sesame seeds. Got two of those. Pull-ups I don't buy unless it's summertime. It's just easier to get on kids, especially girls if we're out and they're in a dress, change their diaper if they have an accident. So I do buy the pull-ups in the summertime. If not, I'm normally just a Huggies chick. Um, Pampers, mm, they're, they're a bit too fragrance fragrancy. Some Huggies, yeah. Butt wipes because baby wipes are needed for everything. A box of crackers. I wanted to do the box of pre-made stuff. They already have the crackers, the peanut butter on there, but they have a lot of things in them that they don't need to be in there. So I figured I'll just make my own thing, peanut butter crackers or put it on the plate and the kids could keep their self occupied making their own. So crackers, giving you guys some ideas here to try to be healthier. I'm trying, we're trying. Some Mott's applesauce. My kids like when I substitute eggs applesauce for eggs when making pancakes so they also like it for a stack i should have bought like four of these but we got one this time and then this is normally on sale at costco this is a good healthy treat that's because it's not gmo so who cares about the sugar it's healthier it's a treat and these is this popcorn is so good so um yeah look at costco before you go to sam's for this most of the time costco has this stuff on sale it wasn't on sale this week, and um, yeah, we wanted it. Also, some veggie straws, and then some shorts. We got three packets of these shorts. They're taken apart because, well, the kids decided to take them apart in the van. But we got three packets. These are just these were on markdown at Sam's Club. The cart was shorts to go underneath the girls' dresses or for outside busy doing gardening work or things like that. Um, the kids girls are playing in and out of the buckets of water. These are just more easier to tend to than them soaking their dress. So, cartwheel shorts. And then, the case of Kirkland water. Kirkland is Costco. I forgot about that down there. We did get the kids a case of Kirkland drinks from Costco to keep them hydrated while we are out when we were in town. I'm not trying to bust open no Gatorade powder. So we did opt to get some of that to keep them hydrated at the water park. Okay, back to Sam's. Um, fireworks. We have, let's, if I, let's see if I can get this right. We have Lemon's birthday the 3rd, July 3rd. Lemon's birthday July 3rd, Killian's birthday July 4th, Arabella is turning 1 on July 5th, and then we're going to go into July 8th is Fisher, July 27th is Chris, and July 28th is Freya. So July is a huge month for us, 
this big old kit was only $119. So we did get that for the kids. Okay, a small local store. I think Kroger's and Smith's is like the same thing. It's called Smith's here. We just ran in to get some refried beans. We do have the refried beans right over here. But we had one more month left on Wick before we got the boot from it. So, yeah. Um, refried beans from Smith's. And then the girls, this is a very unhealthy idea, but it might save you a trip through the drive-thru and dealing with fast food. And it's just an idea. We're not hating over here. I survived eating this way, okay? Anyways, my girls don't mind eating these. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get some slack for this one. My girls don't mind eating these from the can. So if we're busy and we're on the go somewhere, I just take one of these with us if I know we're going to be out for a minute. I pop that lid off because the inside, you know, bring a little plastic cup, dump it in there and give them a spoon and they'll eat that crap and they'll eat that crap right up. It's like a treat for them. So I did get some of these. These were on sale four for five. And then these are really healthy treats-ish for them. They're non-GMO. Um, all my girls like these little baby snacks. They're just fun for them. A little fun little single serving jar for them. So I got that for them. And then Miss Arabella were transitioning, transitioning her, transitioning her over to the toddler gentle ease. So I do that with all my kids. I know some people just stop and go straight to milk, but I don't. We transition them into the toddler one and then introduce dairy slowly. So some of that, um, taffy because salt butter taffy is good. And then comfort thingies, these are just easy, again, non-GMO. Packets to give your kid on the go. So we got the unhealthy, the better healthy, pack fruits and vegetables, right? You gotta balance it out. But this was $6, I think, for these boxes. So, got that. Okay, and then a tiny little Walmart haul because the girls' bathing suits didn't fit. And, oh, you know what? I missed something. I got thrown on the floor. This right here came from Sam's Club as well. It's a Hurley brand swimsuit. That is Miss Piper's. And then, okay. because we thought the girls, Frey and Lemon, had one from Costco. We went to Costco first, got Frey and Lemons. Didn't have a small size for Piper. So when we went to Sam's Club, we got one from Sam's for Piper. We thought they were all taken care of until we got home to the hotel, or until we got to the hotel and realized, crap, Fran lemons are way too big. They need a swimsuit. And we totally spaced Miss Arabella. So off to Walmart, we went to get swimsuits that fit. You want to set this on the floor? It's sliding down. This is a TNT. Yeah. TNT is on the right. So over here from Walmart, we got... No. We got Lemon picked out this swimsuit. Cute little bikini. And then Piper, or this is Mrs. Arabella's. We wanted to keep her long sleeved, which we normally do for all the girls, but we let them pick this time and they went for the cutie ones. So Miss Arabella's and then Mrs. Frey and Mays. These were all $10.98 from um, Walmart. And then I have this lemonade thing going when I'm pregnant. Obviously, all the lemonade over there. Plus, it's just refreshing in the sun. But this is really good. Yeah, you don't see the red cream soda back there. The red dye. You don't see the red dye. Also, we went to the Spray Splash Park. And if your kid's not completely 100% potty trained, get them some pamper swim diapers. Don't let them shrap in their pants and have it float out into water where everybody else is playing so i have some kids that are not completely as in arabella not 100 percent potty trained and piper and even Frey will have an accident with number two get them some freaking splash or swim pants keep their turds in their butt and keep an eye on them too if you get it the, it's just gross if you see your kid in squatting position man just watch your kids at the spray park anyways swim diapers i'm gonna shut up about that 
also we don't shop at target no more but that's okay because i've said that in the past in the few videos back before i stopped shopping at target that walmart has upped their game in clothing this is an adult size dress super cute super earthy colors it is the easy peasy brand it's 30 dollars but it's super cute it's not maternity it's i got the medium because of that eight size eight to ten and yeah i really like the colors of this it looks gray but it's a purple so got that for me and then when we were walking in the bathing suits the lady was putting clearance tags and she's like hey we're marking all these dresses down to three dollars Guys, it is going to be Lemon's birthday. Her birthday is right before yours. So, stop fighting over birthdays. So, I did get the girls a dress. These were $3 each. What a good deal. So, I got two of these for Lemon and Freya. They didn't have size for Piper because and this is the big girl section. So, I thought that was really good. It was it was 15 marked down to seven, and then she was slapping three dollar stickers on there. So like three dollars. See, so we also got two of these. So I thought those were super cute. Yeah, check your Walmart dresses. This is the first time we got a score on dresses at a Walmart in Utah. This is the Utah the the Walmart in Springville. Yeah, Springville Walmart way cleaner too I, I really liked going into that walmart it was the first time anyhow that's the little walmart um the walmart little hall I'll show you guys my little my my crap show now i got kids in here fighting over birthdays oh let me see your dress this is the other dress i was telling you guys about um, Frey and Lemon got the same dress. They only had this dress in their size. <laughs> so um, they didn't have that one. I think that one's just super cute. But that one's cute too. They both they like them. You like your dresses? Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> 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 I got my drum. Why do you have to play right there? Look at my rug. Oh, very nice. If you're wondering where we keep all of the food we buy, we keep it inside of this shed that we got from Costco. Yep, and I keep an eye on the temperature on this gadget right here we don't want it to go above 90. i think 85 is like the safe zone it's under 80 right now but it will reach about 90 during the day and if it keeps getting hotter and hotter and hotter we'll get a little um fan or a little air conditioner thing to go inside here for now but that's where we keep all of our stuffs yeah. Very small compared to my house pantry. It was a whole bedroom. I have one spot. I know where the I know where the um short is in that cord over there. For at least Oops. Chris is over here trying to zap bugs. How's it working? Okay. <laughs> is it not working? You should go outside and hold it. I bet you if I put it outside, it'll definitely do something. Yeah. Maybe you go there and like you're the holding post and just hold it. I would just sit it down out there. <laughs> but I mean, the holding it, you get like front row seats to um, watching things get zapped. You're a stupid dog. <laughs> Oh, Different light. Pretty good breeze out here. 
and walk okay, away deep. Like this. See. I did want to take a moment and say thank you to all my members. I haven't been able to add the names and I don't know what is going on with this program, the YouTube studio, but every time I try to get your name, as you can see, when I start to scroll down, it goes right back up to the top and I can't get everybody's name without it refreshing and there's no other way for me to get names and I don't want to just do the top half and not everybody's. So I do want to take time and tell you guys thank you so much. I really appreciate all you guys supporting my privacy, my channel, my family, and we appreciate it and thank you.